Well, my name is Tom Watson, and I'm a park ranger out here at the beautiful island of Egmont Key State Park and National Wildlife Refuge. Everybody considers this to be one of the great treasures of the Tampa Bay area, <clears throat> referred to all the time as a treasure. It is. The island is owned by the federal government and, and the Department of Defense and, and U.S. Fish and Wildlife is in charge of the island. We have a management agreement with U.S. Fish and Wildlife to co-manage the island with them. We all take care of it. We work well together. There's a lot of history out here. We're standing next to a gun battery that was built for the Spanish-American War era in 1898. This was originally an army base. It was called Fort Dade for a while. It was originally called Egg Monkey, and then called Fort Dade. And then when it was decommissioned, basically it went back to Egmont Key. We have hundreds and hundreds of shorebirds nesting here, gopher tortoises, box turtles, sea turtles. And we have all these cultural resources here that we try to protect and keep up for the enjoyment of the public that comes and visits us here all the time. The tortoises are a major attraction out here as well as the cultural resources and the buildings and the gun batteries, but we've been told and it's pretty well assumed that uh, this is the largest concentration of gopher tortoises probably anywhere in the North America. Uh, there are, by our best estimates, close to 2,000 roaming the island. The gopher tortoises, we don't know exactly how they originally or, you know, got here. But they're here and they're here to stay and it's a beautiful natural environment for them. Um, they can't swim so however they got here they're, they're, they're going to stay here. Uh, they love the sandy and the raised soil. They love the foliage because that's what they eat is greenery. This is a typical gopher tortoise burrow, and there are hundreds of them all over the island. They dig down and they throw the sand back up in here, and it's where they live, particularly on a day like today when it's just too hot to be out in, in the sun. Or along about four o'clock, they come back out and they eat. Their favorite pastime is to eat all this grass around here, which is why they hang around here. They lay eggs in the sand right here in front, so one of the reasons we try to keep the public away, if you will, is so that they won't disturb the tortoise and or the eggs or cave in the burrow, which is not that deep. They're endangered and they're of special concern and, um, you know, the habitat in the mainland areas, they're, they're losing it all the time. Um, here they're protected. and. Um, we still see, we see offspring and little, little hatchlings all the time, so this population is going to keep growing and is going to keep healthy. And uh, we, the people pretty much enjoy seeing them, but they do leave them alone. They roam this island at will. Um, it's a beautiful natural environment for them, the hills, the sand, the greenery and it's just a perfect place for them to be. And um, it's a protected island. It's, uh, there's no commercial development here, so uh, they should do well here for many, 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 many years to come.